Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your what's cracking for hump day, Wednesday the 8th of May. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. Um, thank you to all the new people that have come on this week. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the readings. Um, I've gone blank. <laughs> Sometimes I just do that. I do this thing where I'm listening to what's coming through and forget I'm on video. Um, I um, would like to announce that I'm doing a Facebook Live on the 19th of May at 9 o'clock. Um, you will have to go over and join my page at the Aussie Goddess to be able to connect to that. Um, also, thank you for all my very, very supportive and loyal long-termers <laughs> for putting thumbs up on videos. Um, if you, they resonate with you, make sure you do a thumbs up. Um, I'm pretty sure it gives you a bit more visibility. So trying to grow the channel to get it to 10,000 because I've promised everyone once we get to 10,000, we'll start doing lives. So we're nearly there, folks. Okie dokie. I am using the Thelema Tarot here. And your energy of the day is the Five of Swords. Now the Five of Swords, it's an interesting card because it comes out at such strange times and sometimes it has sort of a real different feel to it. It shows a person with all five swords and they've obviously won something, but there's nobody else in the picture. And I always think of this as this sort of energy of I've won something but there's no satisfaction here because I've got nobody to share this win with. And one subscriber wrote in to me a few months ago and said to me, it's called a Pyrrhic victory. So I've always called it the Pyrrhic victory card. Now, other readers sometimes talk about it being about selfishness. You know, these are all mine. You don't have any. So it can be to do with that too. But more often than not, this is a feeling of winning a battle but not winning the war so walking away from something intact but not feeling like you've got anything from it so sometimes it can be like walking away from a relationship because you know the relationship doesn't serve you but the sadness in leaving that person behind is very difficult so that's how I sort of feel this card out um, behind that we do have the Hierophant so yes some of you have walked away from something that was stable because it wasn't going anywhere. So it's like you probably had everything you want in a material sense, but the emotional connection wasn't with this person. Um, we've all done that. Well, you've met the person who's probably very good for you and very right for you, but you can't be connected to them or you're not connected to them in any way. Um, some of you could have walked away for, from a job for the same reason. It could be that you've invested a lot of time and energy in something but it's not really giving back to you the way that you want it to. So behind that, we have the Five of Pentacles, which just completely supports this story here. Something that you had that was very good for you, traditional, stable, um, perfect for who you were, is not bringing you in that emotional fulfillment. It, you feel empty. It's just not doing it for you. I'm sure we all relate to that. And then we have the Five of Cups. Wow. Wow. OK, you may even feel very sad about walking from this person because you don't have a connection. You may be very sad walking away from a situation, a job or whatever, because no matter what you do, it doesn't make you feel good inside. OK, let's see what the rest of the reading says for us. Well, <laughs> so the reason this is happening is because the universe is trying to get you to close something out. So it may have been that you picked the wrong person, job or situation that doesn't really suit who you are. So maybe you've been underestimating what you're entitled to, who you should be with, what you should be doing, because you're finalising a cycle here and walking away. Um, the emperor is here. So you could be taking on this emperor energy, actually. It feels very much like you're taking on this energy here. Um, this is about feeling, you know, very, very comfortable with the decision you've made. Really getting it here. 
Um, you know that you're worth more. You know that you're valuing, valuing yourself more. You're smart enough. You're knowledgeable enough to understand that what you've been doing is not right for you. And you're taking on this very, very strong, commanding, um, controlling sort of energy here in order to walk away from something. And now you're on the lookout for something new. So here you are, you've got your passion in hand and you're ready to go. Um, you've decided now that you'd rather go with this emperor energy than put up with something that you've had before. Some of you here, very, very strong feeling you're walking away from relationships, but we'll keep going with that and we'll work it out. Okay, six of swords. So definitely moving away from something that did not serve you. I guess you all know in what part of your life this is. Sometimes I do the readings and I think, Matt, there must be something in it for me here. But I'll get it sooner or later. Uh, Queen of Cups coming out here. For, so for some of you, this could involve a Pisces person. Um, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, so let's put Pisces and Capricorn aside for a moment because I have no idea where they came from. They've just been channeled down. Um, this is a water sign. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. The Queen of Cups, I think, represents the Cancer. So for some of you, it could strongly be a water sign. Obviously, the other ones I've mentioned. But for many of you here, it is a Cancer. But this person you're walking away from doesn't feel or doesn't feel the connection like you do hasn't recognized is what they're saying okay sorry the messages are coming very very quickly this morning they haven't recognized this connection that you have um they haven't sort of seen you for who you are haven't um recognized your soul here now it could be you because remember the energy split flop so maybe you haven't recognized the soul in the other person maybe they haven't let you see their true self Okay, we have the three of wands here, so you're definitely moving away from something. All the cards here talk of you moving away. That's it, you're done. So you must have put in a lot of effort here. King of Pentacles coming out here. So this is about you, and for some of you, this is definitely about work or a situation that involves something material. Could be a marriage, as I said, but you're moving away from something and you've got, you're hanging on to what you're taking away, um, which could be material possessions. I'll do a complete read. It's a little bit, oh yeah, we have major transformation happening because of this. This is sending on a tower. Okay. Alrighty, six of pentacles. No equal give and take, people. Alrighty, let's have a good look at it. Now, what is happening here is you're walking away from saying, so, you know, as I said, you could have won at something. You could have got to a point where you are, you know, you've been... For some of you, this is trying to meet the right person, but just not having any success because you're not in the right place. You're trying to make connections with people and it's not happening. And you're walking away from something that actually looked really good on the outside, but no connection again. Okay. It's about being on a journey here. To try and find the right place, the right person, the right situation. I feel like you're really in this emperor energy now. So maybe you've vibrating, you're, you've moved up, you've leveled up, whatever you'd like to say. But you're in this place now where you really want to find something that resonates with your soul. You're looking for that soul connection here. You're looking for that job that really does it for you. You're looking for the situation that brings in joy. But it's like you keep trying all these things, but you can't find that connection with them because you're vibrating that much higher now that the connection just is not happening. Your soul is not feeling this. I feel like you have this unbridled passion is what they're saying to me. You've developed this passion. You've You've understood what your soul needs and wants, but nothing's coming towards you. Now, I feel like some of you are moving away from the energies that you're encountering because they're not bringing in what you want. But what's happening here is you're being brought to a place here of transformation, of realization, of epiphany moments. 
because what you're looking for isn't matching you because it isn't giving you back here. It isn't giving you back what you're investing. This is why you're having an issue now because you've understood that if you put in, you need to get something back. So it's like having those relationships where you give, 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 give. And one day you wake up, you think, I'm not doing this anymore. This person is not in any way, shape or form giving back to me. Whether that's being grateful, whether that's feeling it, you know, being, um, you know, doing something nice in return. None of that. There's this feeling here that you're just doing all the investing and get nothing back. So the universe is trying to get you to understand this feeling of reciprocation. It's what you deserve here. Your soul's crying out for this equalness and you're not finding it. So there's this feeling here of having to break down your own structures or your own thinking to be able to pull in what you need. And in order to do this, you do need to take time out again. Now, the horse is really shining out on this photo here. So I think it's about you encountering some sort of freedom. Um, maybe you, you feel like people are trying to always control you. And maybe you don't want to be controlled here because I get this sort of like wild stallion feel here. It's like I don't want to be controlled. I don't want to do what you want me to. I want something back here. I want to feel something. I want to connect with something. I want to have this um, soul connection with somebody, something, and I'm not getting it here. And I'm just taking on this energy of this wild stallion. Maybe you've got a... Um, an animal guide at the moment that's a horse because you're taking on this real sort of wild and free energy here and everybody seems to be wanting to sort of pull you down to making decisions or trying to adjust to things that do not suit this wild flow of energy you have at the moment. Very interesting though because you're sort of you're trying to make sure that you exercise everything going through this process so you're you're making sure that you've exhausted every single avenue before walking away, which is a really nice thing. So you're trying to make sure that when you are in situations that you are completely reading them the right way before you walk away. But nothing's resonating with your soul. OK, the card that's come out is the card of opportunity. So what I want to say to you is I think you're going through a huge learning process at the moment. Trying to understand what, what is it you do want. And you're having to sort of like trial a lot of different products to get to a point to say, well, the universe, this is what I want. Because nothing here is just satisfying me. And we're probably feeling very, very unsatisfied with a lot of things at the moment. But don't worry, opportunity is knocking. 